hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cuboid Sandbox. Now, I wasn't here yesterday, so I couldn't actually record, but today I've got a very, very special scenario hooked up for us that has to do with the last one we had on Nero. So this is the last episode I'm probably going to be doing of Nero, but this is... Remember last time how we did a political kind of thing with Nero? Well, we're doing kind of the same thing this time. Uh, basically, way back when, at the beginning of Nero, which is long gone, uh, way back when though, what happened was, to elect an official, like we saw they had a war over it. Now, the difference between this one is because, in that war, that war was just in OK, the town in the middle here. This larger war is a little bit different. They have it between the two different parties. Those who call the town, or those who call the world Nero, N-E-R-O, and those who call the world Nero, N-E-R-A-U-X. So, it's not so much a po it's a, a big political deal, but it's more so in a, uh, it's not so much a political fight as much as it is a uh, racial fight between the original Manch, who spell and who are spell the world N E R A U X, and then the Eich, who spell the world N E R O. Or I'm just going to call them Nero, with an like an H at the end, and then Nero normally, because that's how they're spelled in the subscript of the world. Because there are two languages spoken throughout Nero in general, and both of them spell O K O Q U E and pronounce it O K. Now. The way this works is that each of these little clusters are different towns, with the exception of this, which is a uh, which is a narrow base, a narrow base. So each of these are a little town, each with its own name. And the way that, the way this works is that people start in this, or people start down here in the cap, or well, the capital narrow is technically okay, but the most populated city from the narrow side which is Utara, and then the most populated city, or well no, the original city, the city that was originally founded for Nero is, oh god, Trojai, Trojai, there we go, Trojai. So, there's where those guys start, and they pretty much have to convince people in other towns to pick up their weapons and fight. But what makes this special is that the only reason that you would convince someone to fight is because they just despise the other race that much, and they pretty much riot their cities away, which is why some people fight and others set up supply points to keep fighting. With that in mind, let's put on automatic food spawn. And, oh, also, the yellow are pretty much in okay. There are people who just want to watch the world burn, pretty much. So they go out and try to destroy all the other two factions. However, since they're kind of just party poopers and nobody warns them that this is starting because they're not in any of the most populated towns and it doesn't start in OK, they just kind of sit there until another team enters OK. So two guys over here. One guy, or not one guy. Four guys over here, and we'll check the info. Okay then. Now this will be interesting. We get to see which is the stronger of two races by sh by far. Now, just a small me going through all of the different towns. We've got Trojai and Trojai over here. We've got Osai over here. We've got Polisetti down here. Polisetti is kind of split into these four little places. Then we've got Skay or Sky over here. Depending on where you're from, it's either pronounced Skay or Sky. We've got Utara. We've got the secret red base that's not given an official name yet. We've got Thea or Thea, depending on where you're from. Okay. Uh, Skiane or Skiana again a lot of these are dependent on the dialect that you speak 
there's Rayol or Yol. Uh, the the Ray in Rayol is uh, sometimes just not pronounced. And then Metrole over here. Metrole was originally supposed to be the capital of the Nero people, but eventually Utara took place. So we're already seeing a pretty even start. The Reds, of course, are getting a bit more, or er, they're a bit faster and all, like they normally are. But the people of Nero have always been known for this kind of thing. This game originally started out before guns were involved like they are now. Holy crap, the Nero might completely die here. Uh, I s might have screwed up the spacing. But this game was created, or well, this fight was created before guns were really involved. So, the reason that uh, the Nero people have a hard time with this is that they're not used to using guns. They're generally more muscle headed. So, they also don't set up supply points as well as they normally should, especially not as well as the people of Nero, who are very, very good about setting up supply points. Okay, I kind of screwed up. Oh boy. Oh no, they can't actually eat it through there. Never mind, I didn't screw up the placing. Holy crap! This is a Lundum Dare game, but yeah, you can actually see below the board. That's so cool. Oh! And the narrow people made it to okay. Then OK starts to riot. Crap, yeah, I accidentally made the uh, narrow extinct because of how far away I placed them. So, I'm gonna go and fill a ton of them in here by accident. Or, just so to make it fair. Info. I'm sorry about that, all of you rooting for an arrow. And oh my god. The race that did I didn't screw up placing their cities. Nero, they actually, well, completely ate out completely ate all of their resources in OK. And the Okens, or that's what someone from OK is called normally an Oaken. The Okens are doing decently for themselves and have pretty much demolished all of the resources in OK. The town has been rioted to bits. The Nero are just starting to get back on their feet. I, what really is awful about this is that, see, the town of OK should have been in the middle of the map, but it kind of wasn't. It was down in the southern part of it, and it's really hard to see where you're placing things in this and where the edges are, so I'm sorry for that. The people of Nero are starting to move north, which is good, I think. I think that's the only way they're really going to make it, though they are pushing the people of OK out of their main city. This is going, I think this is going to be an Oaken extinction. Oh, no, they're, will they make it? Yeah, they do. Scrounger up over there. Well, that's good. And the people of Nero are doing just fine themselves. Oh, actually, no, they had a slight extinction down there. Not down there, they actually made it up. That's weird. I don't know. I do not understand when they got their extinction. Holy crap, the people of Nero are really just demolishing. Their population skyrocketed so much after they got control of the north. Now they're actually battling some of the normal Nero people. The Okans just kind of completely ex got it gone completely extinct after o or OK was kind of destroyed. One of the reasons why this was put in place, by the way, was A, to re remove religious, er, not religious, uh, racial tensions, because there used to be riots constantly, but now that this happens, they're pretty much fine with how this works, and this is kind of used to determine the dominant race. But aside from that, 
this is also used to completely wreck down most of the cities so that new buildings and the economy can uh, restart again and new businesses flourish which is honestly a pretty good idea and it worked for them for a long time they did have a point though where they had really where that was a cross between ridiculous and religious and I didn't mean to say either of those two words but where they had normal you know, where they had normal elections like we kind of do except not stupid uh, but normal decent elections and that didn't work because then these riots were going on daily in different towns and they were serving no good purpose I think we just saw an ex or I think an extinction just happened in the south and there looks to be an upcoming extinction going on over here yep here we go people of Nero are just dying there's actually a secondary extinction going on I think over here for the people of Nero that was that that was interesting how they both started going extinct at the same time and then started picking up again so the people of Nero are quite better at picking up than the people of Nero No. Ooh, there's a fight going on, big fight going on right over here. The narrow people are just oh, I think this might be the end for the Oaken. Oh no, some of the Oaken are up north. The people of OK have the hardest time here because they get a late start. That's one of the worst things. They're also they also start off cornered, which is awful. The people of OK just kind of get destroyed. But they really, without or if they win, they plunge the uh, nation to anarchy for a while until somebody else takes power. It seems our other contender for queen ended up dying recently over uh, in her hometown of Sky, which is pronounced Ske in her dialect. I have to keep thinking. I don't know which dialect I want to pronounce these things in. I tend to pronounce it um, using the Nero dialect, which is a uh, the Ma the Manch dialect, Manch dialect. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that word, but generally I use the Manch dialect. However, really, I think I should be using the Eich uh, dialect, considering considering a lot of things. Not though some of the things that they're considering are uh, stuff that would give away where these connect to the original plot so but yeah the there's also a secondary language which uh, it's it doesn't sound all that different but it really is and I think we're witnessing an extinction up north so let's head up there yep I think this might be the end of the Oaken or at least the northern Oaken there are there's a small colony of Okens over uh, let's zoom out small colony of Okens up in the northeast and then this one down here where there's pretty much everyone there's also a large uh, there's a large Ike colony going on over here and they've taken the meridial equator which is really nice I I want the uh, honestly I want um the Eich to win them and the queen that we had elected last time that was uh, their kind of uh, preliminary to see who would rule oh I want to say Queen Fiona won or Fion Fiona Ugh, I don't remember it was a week ago and there's the extinction when you start making a big colony like this you can only you can, you know that they're going to just die out which happens but Oh my god, I'm scared for the Oaken here. It's pretty much that them and Nero with a small or them and the Eich with a small bit of Nero or them and the Eich with is you know what, yeah. I'm gonna be calling the Manch just Nero for now on. And then I'll be referring to the Eich as the Eich, because that's who they are. So the okay the Okens are just kind of Yeah, dead. Oh pretty much. And there's the extinction for the uh there's the narrow the narrow extinction Ugh, my god talking is impossible i apologize again for uh, not being able to record this yesterday 
Now, the Narrow pretty much only exist up here, and the Eich are going to have to move out of the battlefield. The Narrow right now could completely destroy the people from OK. That could happen, but it seems that they're much more interested in trying to take out the other political party, because OK almost never wins. Oh, there's there goes the there goes uh, the Ike population. But oh no, wait! No, the OK won't die there. But some of the Ike population did. There's also colonies down here, over here, and it seems that there's uh, one exploring up into the northwest, which is interesting. Oh god, there's the extinction waiting to happen. Some are already going for other food sources, other supply points. Huh. It's too bad this game isn't on Steam. But that it's good though, because you guys don't get my Steam notifications. Speaking of Steam, I should probably play another episode of Shuggy afterwards. Whatever. Oh, I think we might be seeing an Ike extinction here. This looks to be it. Oh no. They got saved. But half of them are moving away. Oh my god. It looks like a good sizable chunk of the population is getting saved, but... Yeah, those guys are gone. Most of them? <sighs> Guys, I would like to take time now to say, please, if you have any money, try and get the uh, Humble THQ bundle. Just because they are going out of business. It's, they're like having huge money issues and maybe going out of business and they kind of made my childhood. Now, a quick message from our sponsors. Now, uh, I am not sponsored by anyone, including THQ. I just love them as a publisher. The Dawn of War series made my childhood. Uh, the people from OK seem to actually be doing OK. That's kind of ridiculous. I didn't expect them to. I really thought they would have just died right there. I think this might be the extinction we need to wipe them out, though. I really do not like the fact that OK is uh, put into this whole mess. Uh, it just, I do not like the idea of anarchy, not one bit. And so people advocating for anarchy just because they don't fit in with either of the political parties is kind of annoying. I really don't like it. So it's a good thing that they have such a disadvantage. However, the Narrow seem to have just, like, they're having just as bad a time. Our Ike friends actually seem to have recovered quite well. But it looks like this is going to uh, cause a massive extinction for them as they run out of supplies in the equator. I... I accented that word very oddly. Equator. Oh! We've got... Sm okay death! There's oak and death going on. The best kind of death. If I had to support either of these parties, I would probably go for the narrow part- or the Ike party. Just because the queen that was recently elected her in Agon. Because I know Agon won, I just don't know which queen it was. But the queen in Agon, their ideas on politics, I really, really like. They're trying to plunge the nation into a more socialist state, which is interesting. Because it it started off that way. Like, the the original idea of, so, of um, like their economy was supposed to be socialist. But it didn't turn out that way just because, well, there are more people than just them there, and it's kind of hard to keep a large country socialist and all working well. Though they did it with Utara. Utara was socialist for the longest time and it worked very well, until the government shut them down and brought them onto a normal economic level. Which, hmm. It was also flat out communist at one point, but that didn't work out too well. The drive really wasn't there in companies like er, in companies in uh, bleh, in towns like because these actually weren't cities back then; they were towns. But in towns like Sky and Poliseti and most of the southern towns, the communist drive really wasn't there. Osai. However, Utara, which is also a southern town, they didn't have much trouble with it. They worked very well through this. 
Oh, and it looks like the people of OK are on their last leg. Um, there's a small group of them up here. Really, only uh, only the Ike are actually doing all that well. OK has kind of been following the entire game. Now, the Nero, the Mensch, they actually did very, very well. Or, well, no, they were actually doing very, very badly in the beginning. And then took a step up and started doing well. And uh, now they're back doing badly. So I don't, I don't, like, I'm not sad for them anymore that I ended up screwing them up earlier on. Because they're pretty much doing fine. The OK are down to four members. Three members now. I think it's going to be too soon. Because that guy does not look like he's making it out. Yeah. Oh, but they've... The OK are growing right over here. If they win, guys, from four... Or, like, from four members to winning, that'll be ridiculous. There's actually under 200 population right now, which is kind of dumb. Oh, here we go. The OK have a nice stretch of land that they can use. Now, over in the east, because I don't want to scroll over there, there's a large um, population of I, which are doing really well. And I'm guessing the uh, other outpost of the narrow who oh oh no those are actually going up on the north over in the northeast and northwest and right here which is going to go extinct this is the one I'm waiting for oh no they're gonna they're gonna be able to get land yeah never mind yeah so everyone's pretty much going on fine these guys have a large expanse of food I don't know where they're going to go from here though it's interesting how these new towns are quickly forming as supply points. At the end, though, they'll just pretty much be, well, every town will reform. Now, what's interesting is that I said, I talked about the history of towns like Sky and Poliseti and Utara, but I remember that uh, this is also it destroys towns these riots kill uh, by the way and a small extinction going on here some of the people who are too slow to get in there and they do kill and they destroy complete towns but the people who found them generally found them after an old town so like the town Trajiki or Trajiei Trajiei is a completely new town which is why I'm having trouble pronouncing its name it was created in the last time and probably won't be coming back However, towns like Thea, Thea has been around for a long time, though it used to be much more populated than it is now. Thea is one of the longest running towns after OK, which is why it was so close to OK the, when it was refounded. Generally, towns near OK are, or generally towns that are formed near a certain place are known as the town that was there before. And wow, uh, we're back to 30%, 30%, 30%. That's kind of ridiculous. I'm really happy that this one's taken a while. It's been a while since we've had a really, really good one of these runs. Oof, and the I are... They're suffering there. They are just suffering the extinction that has plagued the others. Oh, and here they go, they're gonna... That, I don't think they're gonna actually survive from this outpost jumping. Oh, but in the meridional north, it seems that they've got another outpost. There's an outpost right there that uh, is going to die soon. Oh, and a large OK conflict between the Oak between the Oaken and the uh, bleh, between the Oaken and the I. I look at my paper and then I realize I don't have their name written down here because I'm stupid. Oh, and it looks like this is an Oaken extinction. That looks like most of the Okens. What are, where is the supply point they're looking for? These guys are just fighting. Fighting for the sake of fighting. There's no hospitality for you there, Okens. Oh, but they did drive out one of the large, uh, one of the, uh, largest Eich, uh, supply points. But now they're all dead. It's sad how these battlegrounds are taking place. Oh my god. Imagine if this was a legitimate simulation. And over here, a small Oaken outpost that's going to be leading into, I'm guessing, a northern, just a northern Oaken production facility. Because they do have quite a bit of supply points up in the north, northeast. 
and right there back where OK should have been founded, or where it was founded originally before it was torn down so many times and occasionally moved south. Okins are trying to rebuild their city there, saying they're seeing that. Okay, well, this is going to be a very, very long battle. It's been a good, I want to say, four years, four and a half years that this war has been waging. Four and a quarter, maybe. Oh, no, five years. Never mind. It's been five years that this war has been going on. Time moves differently, of course, when you're looking at it like this. Armies don't mobilize this quickly. Oh, up in the top, it looks like we have an Ike extinction. Oh, wait, no, never mind, because we're about to have a narrow extinction. Oh, we've got... Oh, no. Blech. I've got my, uh, down here, these mixed up. If I was any good at coding, I would be able to switch them to actually say who each of these were. That would be awesome. Yeah, there's the... There's the small narrow extinction. The mensch extinction. It's a mensch extinction, like a mass extinction, but not. Okay, so. Back on track, we have the, the Okins are actually doing well for themselves again. They're in another conflict with Nero, or with the Ike. Who the Ike are just barely scraping along at the lo oh, oh no, yeah, at the lowest uh, population. It's kind of sad, I wanted them to win. They might still win. Though, the Narrow seem to be uh, denying any chance of anyone other than they winning at, well, they had 200 population. Earlier, this uh, entire video, the total population was below 200. I can't believe it's already um, up there now. Why do all my friends play Dota 2? I don't understand. Uh, on the biggest side note to exist ever. So, oh wow, we're oh we were at a stable 400 population. You guys should have saw that. You probably did. I just missed showing you. Go back earlier in the video and look at stable 400 population for just a little bit. Okay, so there's definitely um sort of an extinction going on. Not really a not really like a big extinction like normally happens, but just. A uh, population decline of the narrow, uh, the mensch narrow. So they're yeah they're building back up again like they should. Uh, the okay the okay are still below 100. I can't recall them coming up for up above 100 for very long. And then the I, they're actually back in the race. They're actually back as the most populous. Oh no, uh, this, I guess I'm guessing there's a small I extermination going around somewhere that oh my god look at this this is big wow wow we're actually going on 30 minutes for once there we go okay it's back over 100 and ugh, narrow ugh, over 200 and I still at around 100 2530 Oh man, they actually plunged below okay for a bit. Oh, I think this might be the Oaken extinction I've been waiting for down here. Oh, it already happened, I guess. They aren't actually losing all that many people, though. There was uh, recently an Ike extinction that happened. Uh, you can see that down there in the statistics. The OK are actually doing well for themselves, which is kind of ridiculous. That looks like another Ike extinction. They've got to be careful here. OK, no. There's not enough OK people there. There's not enough Okens to um, actually stop that or create that extinction because they could have blocked them off. Uh, but no, no such luck for them. There was a uh, narrow extinction, and the Okens are actually right now up at top. Or up at top, up in the top. That's kind of amazing. Wow. I honestly didn't expect them to have the most population at one point. I especially didn't expect the Eich to be this low at population. They're below 75, which is kind of ridiculous. Whereas the OK or the Okens are back at around 200. So, yeah. Wow. 
Wow. The narrow are trying to stabilize at around 100, though they are falling. <sighs> okay, it's at 30 minutes. I've been sitting at my computer for 45 or er, 40 minutes setting this up. So we're taking off automatic food spawn. This is deathmatch time. Everyone at this point is into a large rage. They can't stand the other races. They're done with this. No one's setting up supply points anymore. Everyone is just burning and pillaging everything they can. Oh, this looks like the Oaken extinction I was waiting for. These guys are dead. Though it looks like the Nero are going to be the first to fall. They're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's the Oaken extinction I was talking about. Down here, it seems they're fine. The Nero are. Oh, are the Mench Nero? Nope. If this little guy can survive for his country, and for his, uh. Paul. Oh, nope. Just, bu just got completely destroyed by a group of, uh. By a group of Okens, who again are going to ex go extinct right now. The Eich are surviving by the skin of their teeth down in the south and uh, up in the very northeast where another group of Okens are fighting. Down here we've got the we've got the Nero, the Manch Nero surviving. Just surviving though, I don't know where they're going to go from here. I think this might these might be their last resources actually. The last supply points even thought to be put up for them. Down here is where the uh Manch extinction or the oak the oaken extinction is going to happen, and up top we're gonna watch those happen right up now. Yeah, those two are the oakens are falling right now as well as the narrow. I don't know what's going on with the uh, the Manch narrow are definitely being annihilated as well as the oaken the oaken people. Though there are some Mench Nero down in the south, there are some also some Okens down in the south, but they are dead. Yeah, the o the OK society is just completely collapsed. The Mench Nero are holding on by the skin of their teeth, but with about oh no, no, they're starting to repopulate down here. I don't know where. Oh, over here. Oh my God. If the Manchinero can actually hold off for long enough, for long enough that the uh, that the Eich Nero don't or er, die out first, that will be amazing. Yeah, but we've lost the OK, which is, in my opinion, good. I did not want them to win by any means. The Manchinero are at four hundred or four hundred guys, but uh, four guys. And here's going to be a small extinction of the, uh, of the Eichnero. Look at that sneaky Manchinero guy running up into the north where he won't be caught. I think he might have just won this for the Manchinero. Because there's no random food spawns left on. Yeah, look at that. These guys are, they've got two pylons left pretty much. And that is it. Where's the mansion? Oh, he's off fighting. If he could have taken down, oh, go oh boy. This one's down to the wire. The I think the Eichnero are going to lose this for sure. They don't have anywhere they go. Oh, they've got quite a bit of resource over here, actually. This is interesting. So, it's whoever. Whoever uses up their supplies slower, the riots are definitely cooling down. Especially to the Manchinero, realizing that they're in they're in really really high um they have they had a really high chance of losing, so they started stepping down the rioting. They have always been a really angry people, but they do know how to win. The Eichnero are still angry over the fact that they didn't win the last election, which they didn't. So they're just raging at this point. People are getting mad at others for not setting up supply points when they should have. 
Like we can have a small extinction in that city. As a lot of the Echnero die there. Really, this just goes to show you why rioting never works. Never solves anything. You're just destroying your own stuff. And even destroying the other people's other people's things it doesn't help you. Oh god. Dimension Nero just actually started to have a small population drop and I got kind of scared for them. I'm pretty sure they're going to win this because, yeah, these guys have literally no food left on the map. So the Mansion Arrow win out of just pure cunning. Okay. Actually, if they're... No. They have two more pylons left. And we're just going to watch the Eichnero's population drop. And that's it, guys. 3-0. Uh, Thank you for watching. I'm, I had a great time. But, you know. Oh. So that's a new rule that I'm acting in place, though, for every time I do this now. Is that if it hits over 30 minutes, yeah, I'm just done with it. Just gone. Population of one. Oh, it's because I reclicked on the map. Yes, the lone, uh, the lone Manchinero guy. Going to just survive. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't. Tell me if you want to hear more of the narrow people, though I don't think they'll give you more. Uh, I'm actually probably going to do one more thing to tell you how they tie in with everybody else. Sorry, there haven't been any history lessons in the descriptions, but I'm keeping their history a secret. If you know anything about their history, like if you speak Greek or, or like if you speak Greek or German, would help. If you know anything about their history, then uh, post that in the comments. I'd love to read what you guys think. But until next time, I know nobody watches the endings anyway. Bye.